A local school's playground left in ruins by an arsonist is now getting a new life. And it comes thanks to D.C. athletes and the generosity of others. Horace Holmes joins us live from Temple Hills with a look at what can be done really in a matter of hours, right Horace? Allison is absolutely amazing because this morning none of this was here. They were able a bunch of volunteers to put this all together during the course of this day. They worked from the morning until just a little while ago. They're putting some final touches on it right now. Let's let you see how they brought it all together. They started the day with a plot of scorched earth. All that was left of a playground torched this summer by an arsonist. When the students came back in the fall and discovered that our playground had been burnt down, they were really disappointed. As the day went on, scores of volunteers moved in, sawing, hammering, digging, mixing, moving, and pouring cement. Anything that deals with kids, playgrounds, you know, that's our part of our vision. This playground at the Imagine Lincoln Charter School in Temple Hills was one of a string of playgrounds set on fire by an arsonist or arsonists in the D.C. area over the past six months. The Imagine community has been trying to raise money to rebuild and its students have been without a playground until today. It's amazing. It's just unfortunate that the other one got burned down because we have so many memories. So it, it's awesome. I like it. Thank you. So in step volunteers from Monumental Sports Foundation led by the Mystics, Wizards and Capitals players. You see from uh, just from the ground up in a matter of a couple of hours uh, what you can do. And you know, as you can see, a beautiful playground. They donated funds, equipment and manpower and remade what was here and now a playground designed by the students. And I like the swings and the slide and everything. And by the end of the school day, the transformation was complete. Now, Monumental Sports and an organization called Kaboom came up with the $90,000 to buy this equipment and the manpower, the volunteers to put it all together. This is one of the things that the kids really wanted as they designed. They wanted swing sets. They've got it and a lot more out here in Temple Hills. Reporting live from Temple Hills, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News. All right.